All right, it's time to meet this week's second chance pet. And this morning, we're meeting a, a former cat bully. His name is Koa. <laughs> former. Emphasis on former. Uh -huh. Yeah, the staff at Koa's Animal Shelter gave him a little chat, and uh, so he's, he should be a little nicer these days. Okay, joining <laughs> us live to introduce us to Koa is Sam Ellingson with the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. Sam, good morning. Good morning. Yes, reformed cat bully. Reformed right. cat we bully. We want to make sure we emphasize. He, the, he yes. looks like a sweet guy, uh, but you know, you never know sometimes until you actually get an animal home how sure. they're going to do in a certain right. environment. And I guess we learned that um, for five-year-old Koa, he just maybe doesn't get along with other cats so well. That's right. That's right. So Koa, as you suggested, Koa was adopted. He got home, and he decided that when when he got into this new house. Um, it didn't matter how long the other cats had been there. He was in charge and, and he was being a little bit of a bully. So he came back to stay with us. Um, he, uh, right now, I, I'm hoping that we see him at some point right now. He's decided <laughs> he's just going to lay down over there uh, and relax. So we'll see what, if he comes out. But yes, yeah, so he is back with us. I had a little pep talk with him this morning, making sure that we talk about our manners, uh, all of those kind of things. And so I'm, I, I, I think he's ready. I think he's okay. ready to, um, to find that new home. Okay. So be, I mean, it can be tough to just like move in with a bunch of roommates. Sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, there, there's Koa. Hey, Koa. He's, yeah. he's a little, he's a little bit of a mighty hunter. And so I found the way I can get him over here is to, he likes to chase his little wand through his orange cubes. Oh. Um, and so we get a little glimpse of his handsome face here uh, for you there this you morning. Go. He's nice. a big boy. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of that new home, what, what should that new home look like? It sounds like probably no other cats around. Yeah, absolutely. That one's going to be key, of course. No other cats. We don't want any fights when we go into our new home. So he's going to need to be the only cat in his new home. Um, we also know that Koa is a little bit sensitive about his tummy. Um, and what we learned this morning is that he'll, when he's being really social and he's really saying hi and really wanting to play with somebody, um, he'll roll over on his belly. But the, the key instruction there is do not touch the belly because he does not want you to touch his belly. It is nothing but a tease. Um, but what you get, though, with this guy is he is super cuddly and he's very playful. Um, and he's really just kind of a kind of a chill cat who wants to lay around and hang out with his family. So he's going to be a really good fit for a lot of homes. You know, like we said he's five. So we also know that the behaviors that we see in Koa are pretty much going to be the behaviors that he's going to have in his new home. Okay. Don't expect there are going to be too many surprises with this guy. Well, that's helpful. I mean, you know mm -hmm. what to expect going in. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the belly, the no touching of the belly. That's a cardinal rule for a lot of cats. So... I'm, yeah, I'm usually more usually, surprised when they let you do a belly roll. I was saying, Koa's being tricky because he's, he's rolling. He's like, go ahead, do go it. Go ahead, I dare try you. it. Try me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. It's always a little bit of a risk when you go in for the belly with some cats. Some of them are okay with it. Some of them are just setting you up for a big disappointment. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> so some, some older kids and some dogs who are going to know, you know, how to kind of work with them and, and give them the space that, that he needs. But it looks like he does enjoy toys and, and chilling around the house. He's going to be the perfect cuddle buddy for, for someone at home. Yeah, and because, like you said, with dogs as well, because he is such a big boy and because we know he's certainly not afraid to stand up for himself with other cats, <laughs> we know that he should be a pretty good fit for homes with dogs who are respectful. Right. Okay. So dogs who are going to not going to chase him directly. But, you know, if we even see dogs and cats who love each other and play together. Koa could right. very well be a cat like that. I feel like we've made a lot of progress with Koa today. I feel like we have as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have as well. Yeah. A good, a good new now. foundation for the reformed, reformed cat yes. And we'll keep our work with him. I'll give him a few more uh, chats this morning to make sure that he's on his best <laughs> we behavior. Believe, we we believe in you, Sam. You got this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and introducing us to Koa. We hope we can find him a good forever home very soon. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Of course. And if you want to go meet Koa or check out some other uh, pets up for adoption, of course, you can visit their website. It is hssw.org. He was a cutie. He was a cutie. Yeah. You know, sometimes they, they, they show you the belly. That, that's Don't a good, I would have been belly. a sucker. I would have, I would have absolutely gone in there for, for the belly rub. Yep.